Thank you all for your patience. We're going to start taking questions now. Okay, guys, we're going to end here. Thanks so much for coming today. The group stages are winding down, but knockout football is still on offer. It's all to play for. Let's see how this one unfolds. Don't go anywhere. All the action next. And it really is a city that loves its football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester. And it's a real pleasure to be here tonight at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Manchester United against Uta Arad. Well, Derek, I've been really impressed with United. They've looked solid, they've played some expansive football, and they're very mobile. They should qualify today. Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. That's really good and effective physical play. Nicely timed tackle. Bruno Fernandes. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, looking at the table, it might be a celebratory occasion for the home fans because they know their heroes could clinch a place in the knockout stages and with games to spare, Stuart. Well, they'll need a little help from elsewhere if they're to... Must be! A oh, really commanding goalkeeping.
playing it in oh tremendous header that time but the goalkeeper was there and another corner hot on the heels of the last one Now the delivery. It might still be problematic. Bruno Fernandes. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, it could be on for him here. Quite clearly offside. With that, the attack fizzles out. Space on the flank. Could be! Thwarting him! Excellent defending. Using his strength to shield the ball. Shaw. Shaw. Takes the shot. And no way through. And he's fired over the corner. Can they cover up? Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. And there's the delivery. it might be able to cash in Quenzia using his physical strength to shield it into the advanced position Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Ozim Hen. And possibilities inside the box. Well, strong play here. They've given it away. Bruno Fernandes. Now Casemiro. Juan Bisaka. Will he find the net? Well, the keeper committed himself.
Let's see about the delivery. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, they couldn't keep it. Casemiro. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And a body in the way. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. And over it comes. Well, they weren't able to capitalise. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Sure. Bruno Fernandes. And a really good diving stop. He's driven in the corner. Well, in fairness, not the greatest of headers. So nearing the break, and it's United on top. Stuart, how about your critique of their first half display? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Body in the way. Mitoma. I'm showing good defensive judgment. He's holding the ball up here effectively, waiting for support to arrive. Who can he pick out? And snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. Played over. And he failed to get it away properly. Still there for him. The end product just wasn't there. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in the knockout stages today. Well, it's job half done so far, Derek. Now they need to see out the next 45 minutes. Keep playing well, stay on the front foot, and they should go through. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Oh, a tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. And another corner hot on the heels of the last one. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Takes the shot. And no way through. Juan Bisaka. Well, the keeper committed himself. And a 
body in the way. And make sure. And a really good diving stop. He's driven in the corner. Well, in fairness, not the greatest of headers. And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Buendia. Options in the middle. Ozim Hen. Now with Juan Bisaka. Bruno Fernandes. Can he put it away? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now sending is in, and he's clear his lines. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. No worries for the keeper. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester United facing Bournemouth. Ozim Hen, and that puts them in position. Wendia. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. He's protecting it well. 30 minutes to go then. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Casemiro. Beautifully weighted ball. Giving the ball away. A smart stop here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 32, Emiliano Buendia. Coming onto the pitch, number 31, Declan Rice. So the corner played into the box. Aerial opportunity, couldn't take it. Well, he did well to get to the ball first, and he's unlucky there. He just got too much on it. It's a fine United move in the making. He's gone for goal. Strong hand on that one. Oh, 
Well, I don't think they've been at it today, but maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Well, it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping, but he has to remain on his toes. And there to intervene. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, it looks highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Ozim Hen. Here's Luke Shaw. And a poor ball. He continues his run. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, with the minutes ticking away, United on the cusp of recording a victory in this one. Your assessment of their performance, Stuart? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. On the attack in the closing phase. And players waiting in the centre. Well, snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Let's see about the delivery. Shaw. Mitoma. Poor pass. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. Ozim Hen. Oh, terrific pass. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Good movement. But nothing comes of it. Sandro Tonali. Rice. Can he finish? Couldn't grab hold of it. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And a timely intervention. This could be And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here, and they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. Commanding goalkeeping. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Well, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Yes is the emphatic answer. 
And you have to say, it was on the cards. Takes the shot. And no way through. Juan Bisaka. Well, the keeper committed himself. And a body in the way. And um, Shaw. And a really good diving stop. He's driven in the corner. Well, in fairness, not the greatest of headers. Can he put it away? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. So deciding to make a personnel change. Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. They will now make use. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flat. And giving the ball away. A smart stop here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Have you got time for just a few questions? Thank you so much for your time. We simply have to focus on this man. Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. Well, hello and a warm welcome from the gateway to some of the most picturesque scenery anywhere in England. We're at the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Bournemouth up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. The lineup for Manchester United. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre-halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter.
and the contest begins. How can he take them on and beat them? Magnificent defending. Stacy. Stanislas on the ball. Jefferson Lerma. And he was in the right place to intercept. Stanislas. Corner given. And deciding to go short with this one. Stanislas. Lerma. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Casemiro. Sancho now. Well, as you can see from our graphic, United come into today's game leading the league in goals scored. In mentioning that, I hope I haven't put the commentator's curse on them, Stuart. Well, their build-up play away from home has been brilliant. They get the ball into the front players with quality. They get... And he struck the post! Threat over for now, it seems. Well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay and taking it away Alex Berenguer Casemiro and now with Ozymen advantage Manchester United could cross it in here Bruno Fernandes he must finish well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yeah, it was a penalty for Newcastle United. The goalkeeper was having none of it with that runner. Totally guessed what he was going to do. Oh, surely! Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Ozim Hen. Juan Bisaka. On to Sancho. And back to Sancho. Oh, blocked it! It comes to nothing in the end. Sancho. It has to be! And a goal! Now they have their opener! And now they can celebrate! Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Senesi. Traore. Jamie McLaren. Determined defending. Jaden Sancho. And support available. Sancho. Tonali with it. Fernandes. Well, he hit it with authority. Close.
Possession seeded by United. Shaw. Sandro Tonari. Well, tremendous block. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Casemiro. Smuggled away. Fernandes. What a shocking pass, really. Traore. Filling with it. Might be able to set up the chance. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. A wonderful intervention. in the right place to intercept Stacy Lewis Cook well, the attacking options appear plentiful Cook and with that the attack fizzles out can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Ozim Hen. Well, the pass not finding its target. Shaw. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Casemiro, body on the line. Corner to United as they look to extend their lead. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a struggle to get it away properly. Casemiro, now with Sancho. And the referee blows the whistle. The first half is in the history books here at the Vitality. And this confrontation is underway. Sancho and a goal now they have their opener and now they can celebrate Fernandes well he hit it with authority close body on the line Corner to United as they look to extend their lead. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Manchester United recovering possession well. And the ball in the net at Selhurst Park. That news coming through. Alex Scott. Yeah, a second goal for the Gunners. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. They're ahead by two now with 46 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Sancho. United might be able to cash in. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. How can he take them on and beat them? Made it to the centre. Keeper getting the touch. 
Well, he tried to place it, but off the frame of the goal. Yes, he's hit the woodwork, but really from that distance, he should be tucking that away. Rafael Varan. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing West Ham United. Sancho. Given away by Manchester United. Rashford. Now with one Bisaka. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Thirty minutes to go then. Just the challenge that was required. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United facing Aston Villa. Could cross it in here. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Malasia. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Rashford. Return to Ericsson. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. And there's the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And in the end, no damage done. And a goal update to bring you in the Palace game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's another goal for Chris. Oh, no, Palace. what a chance this is. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Malasia. Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. To clarify, Palace have found the net in that match. And that game is on a knife edge now, level at 2 2. Philip Binning. It's Jamie McLaren. They're racing away here, but no damage done. That's the main thing. Just 15 minutes remaining. Teammates available. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Sancho. Wonderfully weighted pass. Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho. Here's one Bisaka. Excellent defending. Traore. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. 
And options in the centre. Well, no stopping him. Could be. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And a short corner, let's see. Semenyo. And clears the danger. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Cross could be useful. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And he's beaten him here. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Berenguer. Well, this game is far from over. They'll probably get one more big chance before the end. The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to that noise. Senesi. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Jaden Sancho. And return to Rashford. Big chance. Well, he's missed the chance. And the keeper didn't have to do very much. And there it is, the final whistle. A result to please Manchester United fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserved their victory. And so the battle commences. Sancho. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Fernandes. Well, he hits it with authority. Close. Body on the line. Corner to United as they look to extend their lead. Laid into the centre. Well, he tried to place it, but off the frame of the goal. Yes, he's hit the woodwork, but really from that distance, he should... And he's gone for power, so close to finding the net. Well, no stopping him. Could be! Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready. Time for a few questions. Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you.